welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about bridal perfumes in this video, you guys. I have some really beautiful, pretty bridal fragrances in my collection and it is that time of the year. It's the wedding season, you guys. We're right in the middle of it and I'm a little late doing this video, but I'm here now. So if you guys want to see what my picks are for brides, please keep watching. So I have some gorgeous, beautiful fragrances in my collection that would be perfect for a bride, you guys, for the most important day of your life, or the, at least the first one, the first important day, really. You got to pick your fragrance carefully when you're a bride, you know, you want to be, you know, ethereal, beautiful, memorable, gorgeous, all at the same time, but you don't want to wear anything that's too raunchy or that's too cloying or that's too in your face you don't want people to go oh when they hug you on your wedding day you know what i mean you don't want to wear you know two beast motor fragrances you want to pick something that has good projection and sillage but you don't want something that's too cloying or that's a beast i could think of a few right now in my head that would not work for a bride. You want to pick something that's feminine and ethereal, beautiful, gorgeous, and memorable. So I thought about what kind of fragrance notes would work well for a bride. You know what I realized? Powdery fragrances seem to be very appropriate for a bride. They are very feminine, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful. They can even be borderline sexy, but not in a raunchy way. But they are also very memorable, you guys. And they have great sillage projection, depending on, you know, what the perfume is, of course. So the other thing I realized was white floral fragrance, for the most part, not all of them, seem to be perfect for a bride on her wedding day, really. When I smelled these perfumes, most of them are white floral. It really made me think of a bride. So I have some beautiful fragrances here that meet most or all of those criteria. They are very suitable for a bride. So let's see what they are. So the first one I have for you here is Amouage Love Tuberose. Guys, there's not a fragrance out there that's better than this for a bride. I mean, look at the bottle. The bottle says it all. It's white, it's beautiful. Mm. This is obviously a white floral tuberose fragrance. There's vanilla, it's kind of sweet, it's lactonic, and it's slightly animalic from that, um, you know, like the white florals. This has the most beautiful three white floral notes in the opening, you guys. There's tuberose, there's gardenia, and jasmine. It doesn't get any better than that, and it doesn't get more bridal than that. And in the middle, you have that gorgeous whipped cream note with vanilla, a heavy dose of vanilla. You want to have some sweetness in a bridal fragrance, you guys. So this is like a perfect balance between, you know, white floral and sweetness, that creamy whipped cream with the vanilla. So amazing. And in the base, you have the woody notes, the sandalwood, which is the most perfect woody note for a fragrance like this. It's very creamy, very sensual. There's a slight hint of cedar in there too. I'm telling you, it's a quite simple fragrance composition, but the scent is just to die for. I love smelling like this, you guys, and I feel like ethereal and special when I wear this fragrance, and that's what you wanna feel on your wedding day. This is not cloying. This is not gonna, you know, give people a headache. This is not gonna make people want to run away. This is not gonna take somebody's nose out. This is a Mouage Love Tuberose. Next, I have another beautiful, beautiful white floral jasmine fragrance. It's one of my most favorite jasmine fragrances I have in my collection. I love the note of jasmine, you guys. I like most white florals, really. I can't think of one that I really don't like. I just am a huge fan of white florals, yellow florals also. I think they're so beautiful, very feminine. It really gives fragrances this narcotic, hypnotic quality. Don't underestimate white florals, you guys. They're not like timid in any way. You know, you may think, oh, white florals. No, no. They can be quite narcotic, they can be bewitching, they can be very captivating. So this is one like that. This is Pure Poison by Dior. 
this one is actually I would call this sexy but not in a raunchy way you know like this is this can be very sexy and by the way men respond to this fragrance quite strongly men love this fragrance I've gotten compliments on this fragrance pre-covid of course <sighs> so beautiful it's very much like a hypnotic white floral fragrance and you can really smell that jasmine in here it's really a white floral citrus woody fragrance very simple in nature but really leaves an impression you know uh, so this fragrance opens with a bunch of beautiful citrus notes like bergamot mandarin orange orange and then there's of course that jasmine in the opening which is the star of this fragrance you can really smell the jasmine and the jasmine kind of stays through even though it's just in the opening and in the middle you get more beautiful white florals like gardenia and orange blossom and in the base you get typical gorgeous base notes like sandalwood there is cedar and then there's ember and musk Whew. this is such a beautiful fragrance Mm. so bewitching so bewitching oh, I needed to get a, a bigger whiff of it you know it, it looks innocent but it, it's not it's quite bewitching quite captivating quite narcotic this is pure poison by Dior perfect for a bride and it's memorable that's why it's perfect for a bride so next I have two fragrances from a very recognizable fragrance house you guys it has its own DNA, powdery DNA, I would say. Most of the fragrances this house releases for women tend to be beautifully powdery feminine fragrances. You know which one I'm talking about. It's Raja Parfums, you guys. And I have here two from Raja Parfums. The first one is Enigma Aoud by Raja Dove, Raja Parfums. Raja Dove is the perfumer who is a genius he's got an extensive bio read up on him you guys again don't underestimate a powdery floral scent it can be very captivating leave quite an impression so this is one of those fragrances right here there's something very sexy about it this one is a very powdery rose floral white floral yellow floral woody fresh spicy vanilla fruity fragrance you guys this opens with bergamot like most of Rajada fragrances you guys and in the middle you get a bunch of beautiful floral notes like rose, geranium, heliotrope, jasmine, neroli and then you get peach and in the base you get some beautiful base notes like vanilla, sandalwood, orris root, there is oud, that oud by the way is not very barnyard type oud at all, very clean beautiful beautiful oud high quality oud I would say and then there's patchouli which helps with the lasting power but the patchouli in here is not like in your face kind of patchouli it's in the background and then there's ambergris which gives it a very fresh aquatic kind of marine kind of freshness to it ambergris in here must not be that big because I don't get like a huge marine vibe from this at all but it adds just the right amount of uh that uh, sort of like aquatic kind of touch to this fragrance aquatic is not a big fragrance accord in here or it, there's no you can't really smell a huge marine accord either but ambergris none of the less in here that makes it a little lighter if you ask me it like makes it a little bit more fresh and light i think this is a memorable fragrance for a bride on her wedding day most of Raja perfumes for women would work for a bride on her wedding day. Raja perfumes tend to be very beautiful and very uh, delicate and you know soft kind of fragrances. They're not cloying, it's, they're not in your face, they're very well blended and most of them leave a lasting impression. So yeah, I think this is a good one for a bride, especially during summer. This is Raja Parfums Enigma Aoud. Next I have another one from Raja Parfums you guys. This one is from the Essence de Parfum line that they just came out with but there is a corresponding fragrance uh, from the more expensive line of theirs too so either one would work. Um, just take this as a review for both 
regular and the Essence de Parfum version. The only difference in the Essence de Parfum, I believe, it's not as long lasting as the the other one. I gotta say you guys, there's not that much of a difference really. I have Raja perfumes from the higher end line and then I have this, you know, couple of these, the Essence de Parfum fragrances. There's not a whole lot different. This is Scandal Essence de Parfum by Raja Parfums. This one, you guys, mm, this one is the most narcotic, bewitching, white floral ever. I just adore it. It is so beautiful. It leaves a very lasting impression. Again, it's very narcotic, very bewitching, very hypnotic. Like I said, don't underestimate white florals, you guys. This one is a white floral fragrance as well. This is very powdery, very beautiful, but there's something very captivating about this fragrance. This is, of course, a powdery, floral, white floral, tuberose fragrance, you guys. It's really floral through and through. It's white floral through and through. It's as pure white floral as it gets. And guys, this fragrance has every beautiful white floral imaginable under the sun. You know what I'm saying? He basically put all the gorgeous white florals in here. So guys, like most of the Raja perfumes, this opens with bergamot with that citrus burst and then it gives away into that beautiful middle with all the beautiful white florals like jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, gardenia, uh, neroli, lily of the valley, freesia, every white floral imaginable and then there's rose in there as well in the mix. And in the base you get sandalwood, orris, and musk. Orris is a powdery note and musk gives it an edge. Sandalwood is the best woody note to put in beautiful ethereal white floral fragrances like this because it's very sensual and very creamy. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful choice for a bride on her special day. This will be memorable. It'll be like bewitching, hypnotic, narcotic. It'll captivate people. They will think of that bride like this you know, ethereal goddess, you know what I mean? And that's how you want to be remembered, you know, from your wedding day. That's how you want to rem be remembered as a bride. So this is Scandal Essence de Parfum. So, and you guys also, um, I recommend the more expensive version of this as well. They're both beautiful. And this one is not lower in quality at all, honestly. Beautiful, high quality fragrance. I would recommend both of them. I would recommend almost all of Raja creations for women for a bride because that's exactly the kind of thing we're going for you know they really have that Raja DNA is perfect for a bride so yeah this is Scandal Essence de Parfum by Raja Parfums next I have a designer fragrance here that's a little bit more affordable this one is every time when I smell this it makes me think of a bride really I don't know why my mind goes there I guess this is how I would have liked to be remembered on my wedding day, it's scent-wise. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think when I got married this fragrance existed. Yeah, this is Sea Fury by Giorgio Armani. Ah, uh, this one, mm. just so pretty. Pretty is the word that comes to my mind. You know what this reminds me of? This is actually kind of similar to Giorgio Armani My Way. This is a very much a vanilla fragrance, you guys. The vanilla sweetness is very prominent here, but it's also, you know, very floral. It's fruity, it's rose, it's got white floral, and it's woody, it's got a citrusy freshness in there. It's soft spicy. It opens with that gorgeous black currant note that all of the sea perfumes open with, if I remember correctly. They have this you know, like Sea Original, the Sea Entons, for example, have blackcurrant too. It's such a juicy, fresh burst that blackcurrant gives to fragrances. And that's with Mandarin Orange in the opening, I believe, so beautiful. And in the middle, you get a beautiful rose note with Neroli, and there's patchouli and oak moss. The patchouli in here, you guys, you can barely smell it. It doesn't smell like your typical patchouli. It's not in your face. It's not. And in the base, you get vanilla and musk, a huge, massive dose of vanilla and musk, uh, which really, I think, does really adjust this to this fragrance, the musk note in there. 
vanilla adds a gorgeous touch and, and vanilla in fact is the dominant accord in here it's floral it's sweet it's memorable that musk adds a little bit of an edge so it's kind of beautiful pretty borderline sexy fragrance this is sea fury by giorgio armani next i have a fragrance from parfum Mali, you guys and I couldn't do a bridal fragrance video without including this in here. And I think this would be a good choice for a bride. I think this is the version I recommend out of the three. So this is Delena Exclusive, you guys. And I would only recommend the Exclusive, not the other two Delenas. La Rosé would be too fresh and aquatic for a bride. And it may not last as long as this. Although it lasts quite decent amount of hours, but... This lasts much longer and this one is not cloying or wouldn't give a headache to people like the original Delena would because some people get headaches from it from that sour rhubarb note which this doesn't have but it has all the pretty qualities of the original Delena. Uh, this would be a beautiful choice for a bride. This would be good for a bride um, who has a wedding you know towards the end of summer beginning of like fall when the weather gets a little more cool um, maybe not in the hot beating down sun this wouldn't be the best in beating down heat so you wouldn't want to choose this for a summer wedding I would say wait for the weather to cool down if your wedding is like later like towards I would say October something like that this is a rose fruity vanilla slightly tropical woody sweet oud fresh floral fragrance so this has lychee just like the original delena this has pear a note in it which is very feminine and then there's bergamot in the opening and in the middle of course you get that beautiful turkish rose and then argawood and that's argawood is oud and then you get incense and in the base you get that beautiful dose of vanilla big big dose of vanilla i think it's perfect for a bride um i wouldn't say in the middle of summer however wait for the weather to get a little cooler if your wedding is in the later part of the year this would be a good fragrance this is parfum Mali delena exclusive next i have a beautiful fragrance that i think is perfect for a bride it's just gonna leave a lasting impression and it's one of those beautifully sweet floral fragrances which very sweet it's a very beautifully sophisticated yet sweet and rosy fragrance this one just really would be very memorable in my opinion even than the original this is of course the flanker this is killian love extreme you guys this one mm, very beautiful you guys mm. It smells like an orange blossom dessert with rose essence in it, you guys. Like a Middle Eastern orange blossom dessert with rose essence in it. You know, the original Love Don't Be Shy is also that marshmallow, honeysuckle, orange blossom type fragrance. This one is too, but this has that beautifully heightened rose note in here. The rose in here is very prominent, but not in a bad way. It's it's married very well with the beautiful sweet notes like marshmallows in here mm, and that orange blossom oh my goodness this is a very sweet white floral floral rose slightly citrusy powdery vanilla fresh spicy musky scent you guys it opens with neroli and bergamot neroli is a white floral that has a, a, a little bit of like a citrus nuance to it and with bergamot really work well and in the middle you get that beautiful bulgarian rose note you guys with orange blossom and honeysuckle pretty much the same as the original love don't be shy and then in the base you get that marshmallow note just like the original love don't be shy you get that big dose of vanilla and you get musk in here i just adore this you guys this is much more sophisticated a little bit more even memorable than the original love don't be shy the original may be a little too onto the syrupy sweet side than this. This one is sweet too, don't get me wrong, very sweet. But that rose adds that very sophisticated touch. The rose adds that sort of refined, sophisticated vibes to this fragrance. This is Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. 
Next I have something from a house that makes beast mode fragrances you guys and this one is close to beast mode but it's not as strong as some of the others from this house and this is a beautiful bubble gummy tuberose white floral fragrance. You know which one I'm talking about. This is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. Ah, uh, guys, if you're a bride and you choose this, you will smell like beautiful, like gorgeous bride with like this, you know, floral bubble gummy scent. Mm. And, you know, Mancera is known for the, you know, the synthetic fragrance notes. So the tuberose in here must be, must be synthetic, I'm quite sure, because that bubblegum aspect of the tuberose is very prominent in this fragrance. Whereas I have other fragrances with natural tuberose, nano tuberose oil. I smell the slight hint of like that naturally, you know, bubblegum kind of scent you get from tuberose, but not to this extent. So my guess is that this one has that synthetic tuberose, which is why this is very bubblegummy, you know, but it's very creamy, very bubblegummy type tuberose scent. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance. And this will last the whole day. The whole day, it has great projection, great sillage, but it's not cloying. It's not gonna take someone's nose out like some of the Manceras would, like Mancera Roses Greedy, for example. Oh my goodness, like you can't scrub that perfume off your body. It's gonna stay there for like days and it could give people a headache, but this one wouldn't. I'm quite certain of it. It's very soft because of that white floral bubble gumminess, you know? It's a very white floral, tuberose, vanilla, musky, sweet, fruity, powdery, amber, animalic, and green scent. The animalic comes from, of course, the white florals in here. This is some interesting notes in the opening, you guys. I gotta say, there is one note in the opening of this fragrance, which I'm really glad is there in in a bridal fragrance there's pink pepper you guys so uh, pink pepper apparently invokes feelings of falling in love for the first time in your brain so if you think about your groom you know your new husband in that way this would be a good one to wear so there's you know pink pepper in the opening with a bunch of really interesting notes like angelica and cloves and then there is mandarin orange and black currant which black currant you know like i said it's a very juicy fruit that gives fragrances kind of a fresh vibe. And then there's, of course, in the middle, that beautiful dose of tuberose. There's jasmine, there's neroli, and there's rose. And in the base, you get a big, big, big dose of vanilla with musk, which musk is kind of edgy. I think this would make a gorgeous bridal scent, actually. It would be quite memorable. I think it's perfect for a bride. And if you are a bride who wants something that lasts all day that you don't have to want to reapply and you want to be remembered, this is the one for you. This is a sweet one, of course, a sweet white floral scent. This is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. It's Elizabethan Rose by Penhaligans, you guys. This one is actually perfect for, a, for royalty, really. It smells very refined, very much like something someone who's a English princess would wear this. Honestly, that's really what it reminds me of. By the way, that's the Tudor seal right there. So obviously the inspiration behind this fragrance goes to show. This is perfect. This is a beautiful rose fragrance, you guys. So it smells kind of along the lines of Delina, the original, without that sour rhubarb note. But this one is very, um, how do I put it? It's fresh, fresher than Delena. There's a difference. It doesn't smell like Delena, trust me. I mean, the, there's no sour note in here. This is basically pure rose. I get red rose from this. Mm, so pretty. But the problem is it doesn't last as long as I would like it to last. And if you're bright and you choose to smell like this, you would have to respray this throughout the day. And if you don't mind doing that, this is great. This would leave a lasting impression. You will smell like, you would smell like royalty, like a noble woman, you know? You'd feel like an English princess getting married. This fragrance has like three different types of rose notes in here. There's hazelnut in here, which is quite a nice touch. It's very much a rose fragrance, you guys, through and through. You can smell that rose very strongly, but it's also floral, it's fruity, it's citrusy. 
it's musky and it's a little nutty from the hazelnut and then you know there's of course that almond kind of hint too and it's powdery it's woody and it's musky so it opens with a gorgeous tangerine note you guys for the citrus this has which i think is so unique and beautiful bergamot would not have done this justice and there's hazelnut there's almond in here and then there's some cinnamon in the opening and in the middle you get may rose rose and then there are those juicy blackcurrant and plum notes which are very juicy fruit notes by the way there's geranium complementing the rose notes in here geranium really goes well with with rose notes and then there's like red lily in the base you get powdery notes like violet and orris and then there are woody notes and then there is vetiver and musk it's such a beautiful fragrance you guys i just wish it lasted longer than it does but it's such a beautiful pretty pretty fragrance for a bride you would smell so classy royal and sophisticated you know so this is penhaligon's elizabethan rose we had a fabulous wedding you guys we had two ceremonies we had an eastern ceremony and a western ceremony so it was a a little bit of a long wedding actually and we had it outdoors it was beautiful i wanted to have this sort of like nymph kind of fairy type vibes you know for our wedding it was in a beautiful like woody area it was so gorgeous it was such a beautiful wedding i had all purple blue flowers which i think are so so beautiful so yeah you guys we had a fabulous wedding it was the most beautiful day i would put a few pictures or at least one from our wedding day up here so you guys can see yeah it was a beautiful day we've been together quite a while you guys yeah so let me know down in the comment section what your wedding day was like what you wore i would really like to know brides it's your wedding day you can wear whatever you darn well please so this is just my idea of what would be great for a bride but of course it's your day you get to choose what you want to wear